we quickly discovered working with different professionals in the in the world of of business that as soon as you put somebody in the spotlight as soon as you ask them a simple question the first thing that they do is they hesitate and that hesitation is the seed of everything that's about to go wrong in their yeah. speaking and what we've noticed what's what's fascinating about it is imagine you ask a your ceo what's the greatest invention in the world in front of the entire company that ceo feels so much pressure to come up with the single most great invention and if in that moment the person doesn't start speaking then enter the process of second guessing and even if they come up with you know what i really found the answer i think it's this i think it's the camera the initial seed of doubt and uncertainty seeps into the tone of voice it seeps mm -hmm. into the delivery we can f it's a palpable feeling you can tell when somebody is confident versus when somebody has that hesitation so what's fascinating is we began to short circuit that process for people we came up with this exercise called speak before you think which can sound controversial but the philosophy behind it is what if we didn't give your brain any time to think about the answer and you jumped into it what we noticed immediately is that confidence goes up, energy goes up, flow becomes quicker to access. And eventually the person figures it out on the fly because once you start speaking, you enter a flow state. And in that flow state, creativity arrives, clarity dawns, and pretty soon you figure it out. So I don't know the only way or even the, the right way to overcome all nervousness and improve your speaking. But I do know that the faster you get into flow, the easier speaking becomes. So when you're put on a stage or you're in a meeting, it's so tempting to want to think before you speak. Yeah. And that's a helpful strategy. But make sure you don't overthink before you speak, because if you do, it will ruin the entire process. And for that reason, we often encourage people to practice the opposite, practice jumping in, yeah. trusting yourself and discovering that that feeling of flow, which will auto correct everything afterwards. What about people who are training, right, that are maybe not in the moment yet, but even just thinking about um, speaking in front of folks gives them anxiety how do you manage that state how do you kind of start start the process of building that level of confidence the first step we we stole this saying from uh acting theater which is staying in character mm. and it's the easiest step and maybe the first step it's our cardinal rule at ultra speaking well, we have the belief that practice makes permanent so you should be training in a way that you want to perform as close to the way you want to be performing. So if you're in the middle of a training rep and that's everything that ultra speaking is based on is just a lot of reps. We want a lot of very quick repetitions where you're doing the thing that you're trying to train for. So you're actually speaking. We have all kinds of different games and tools that put you in a position where you have to speak on the spot with all kinds of different challenges. When you're doing so, it's tempting if you mess up or if you're not doing well, or if the thing you hate that always happens to you is happening to you in that moment to stop and say, ah, oh, sorry, this was a bad one. Can I go again? Yeah. And that's the absolute worst thing you could do. Why? If practice makes permanence, you're just teaching your brain that it's okay in that moment when things are unraveling to stop and start over. That's not what happens when you're in front of 200 people or you're on a date or you're speaking up in a group and suddenly, oh no, I feel like everybody's looking at me and I'm losing my train of thought. You don't have the opportunity to say, hey, can I, stay, can I start over? So what no. you wanna do instead is can I train my brain? That's the best rep you'll, uh, you'll ever get. It's when something goes wrong and you stay in it and you find a way out. Because when you do that successfully, now you've earned a level of confidence that, oh, I, I actually manage my way out. And by the end of it, you hear the reflection of the group and suddenly everybody's saying, no, I didn't even notice that you were struggling or you actually came off as really confident. If what you've heard on Flow Research Collective Radio has been helpful, 
please consider doing us a solid and leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you are listening to this. Reviews help us connect to a wider audience so we can get these peak performance principles out to more people. 